So when the order doesn't matter, it is called combination. But when the order does matter, it is called permutation. My name is Daniel Brian Duran from BSES TV, and that are the topics that I plan to discuss with all of you today. So in this discussion, we're going to focus on permutation and combination. So to give an overview, a permutation is associated with arranging things in different order. And combination is you simply concern about combining things. So for a permutation, the order matters, but for combination, the order does not matters. And I guess the best way to explain and differentiate this is with an example. So let's say we have three letters, A, B, and C, and we could arrange them in this order, A, B, C, or we could say C, A, B. Now, even though we have the same three letters, the order is different. So these are two different permutation. And the number of these two permutation is equals to two. However, the number of combination is equals to one. Why? Because these two are considered to be the same in terms of combination. But in terms of permutation, they are considered to be two separate things. So let's use another example to illustrate the difference between combination and permutation. So in this question, how many combination and permutation can you make with three colors, which are green, yellow, and pink. So, like what I've said, for combination, the order of the color does not matter or whichever comes first, it does not matter. Therefore, the combination is only one, which are color green, yellow, and pink. For permutation, the order of the color does matter. So let's let list the possible color arrangement. So green, yellow, and pink is the first permutation. Green, pink, and yellow is the second permutation. Pink, green, and yellow is the third permutation. Then pink, yellow, and green is the fourth permutation. And yellow, pink, and green is the fifth permutation. And lastly, yellow, green, and pink is the sixth permutation. Therefore, with three colors, there are six permutations. So, to emphasize combination and permutation, let's focus first on combination. So, combination is an arrangement of object in which the order is not important. So, the order is not important or does not matter. Let's say, for example, we have letter X and Y. And we will make an arrangement here. So we can generate X and Y and Y and X. But these two combination of letters are counted as one only. So now, 
let us discuss the formula of finding the numbers of combination of n things taking r at a time. So the formula of combination we have is C, open parenthesis, n and r, close parenthesis, it is equals to n factorial all over by n minus r factorial and r factorial. n uh, is the total number of items in the sample. And r is the number of items to be selected. from the sample. So n is equivalent to the total number of items in the sample and r is the number of items to be selected from the sample. So, let's apply this formula with the given real-life scenario. So, in this given problem, I just got a free ticket for a concert and I can bring along two friends. Unfortunately, I have five friends who want to come along. So the question is, how many different group of friends could I take with me? So in this given problem, I can bring along two friends, but I have five friends who want to come along. So first, Let's write the formula for combination, which is C is equals to, equals to N factorial over N minus R factorial N R factorial. After writing the formula, let's find out first what is N. So N is equals to five friends, which are the overall uh, numbers of my friends. However, the only ones I can include among them are two friends. So our R is equals to two. Now, let's substitute the given value to the formula of computation. So, C. So, the equivalent of N is equals to 5. The equivalent of R is equals to 2, which is the given. And equals to N factorial is equivalent to 5 factorial over N minus R is equivalent to 5 minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial. So, after uh, substituting the value, uh, the first, the next step we do is uh, we should uh, subtract the value inside the parentheses. So, 5 factorial. So, 5 minus 3 is equals to 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, after we came up with the value of this uh, numbers inside the parentheses, uh, let's expand this factorial. So, the, five, the factorial of 5 is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1 over the 3 factorial which is 3 times 2 
times 1 and the 2 factorial which is 2 times 1. So, uh, in this case, uh, we can see that we can uh, cancel that 3 times 2 times 1 factorial. We can eliminate this. And the remaining value in the numerator is uh, 5 times 4. And the remaining value in the denominator is 2 times 1. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So 20 over 2 is equal to n. So therefore, there are 10 different groups of friends I could take with me to the concert. So now, let us proceed to permutation. So permutation is an arrangement or listing of objects in which the order is important. So the order is important. So because in permutation, for example, if you have a letter X, Y, and Z, and you want to make an arrangement from these letters like X, Y, Z, or Z, Y, X, these are difference because these are permutations. Now, let's proceed to the formula of permutation. So, the number of permutation of n things taking R at a time. So, P, open parenthesis, n, and R, close parenthesis, is equals to n factorial over n minus R factorial. So, basically, we use this formula if no repetition in the given problem. So, this is an example of I permutation. So, a license plate begins with three letters. So, if the possible letters are A, B, C, D, and E, the question is, how many different permutations can be made if no letter is used more than once? So, we have five letters, which are A, B, C, D, and E. Therefore, our N, or the total number of items in the sample, is equals to 5. However, in this problem, we will only make 3 letters. Therefore, our R is equals to 3. But before that, let's write the formula of permutation first, and then let's substitute the value of N and R. So the formula of permutation is P is equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial. So let's substitute the value first. So P was to 5, which is of N, and R is equal to 3. Then um, our n factorial is 5 and n minus r factorial is equivalent to 5 minus 3 factorial. So, first, the next step we do is uh, we subtract this value inside the parentheses. So, 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 is equals to 2 factorial. So let's expand this factorial, which is equivalent to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 factorial is equals to Two 
2 times 1. So, in this case, uh, if we multiply the factorial of 5, it is equivalent to 120. And if we multiply 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, it is equivalent to 2. So, 120 over 2 is equals to 60. Also, we can also uh, cancel out the 2 factorial for us to be able to multiply the numerator, which is 2 times 4 is equals to 20 times 3 and is equals to 60. Therefore, there are 60 ways we can make permutation using 3 letters out of 5 given letters. So, to sum up, permutation mainly deals with arrangement of given set of item. Therefore, in permutation, the order matters. The way you arrange it matters. On the other hand, combination deals with the selections of items from a group of items. Therefore, the order does not matter. Because you just want to combine things. And that's all for my topic. And thank you for listening and I hope you learned something.